is it June already? That's my question to you today. Firstly, hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new month. We are now in June, can you believe it? We are fast approaching the summer months. Are we in the summer months now? I think we are, aren't we? Or at least nearly there, July and August. June, July, August, July, August, September, anyway. Regardless, it's a brand new month. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a lovely previous month. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. I decided to pick up the camera and vlog for today's video today because I have quite a bit on my agenda in terms of organizing and sorting things out. We are making big progresses with the house and the renovations. So there's quite a bit that I need to do in terms of organizing that back room, but in particular, there's a box in there and a bag of all my kind of summer clothes. So I really want to go through them. I've brought them out of the room, go through them, have a good sort out, good clear out. Whilst I'm at it, probably sort through my own wardrobes as well and just maybe put winter clothes away into storage and just get out the summer clothes, give them a good wash. And yeah, so it's a bit of organizing to do today. I am going to pop out at some point today. I just need to run a couple of errands, pick up a couple of bits. And whilst I'm out, I thought I might pop into some of the bargain homeware stores, maybe Poundland, maybe Wilco's, maybe Matalan, maybe The Range. I'm not sure yet, but I'll take you guys with me as and when I do go out. And anything that I do end up picking up, I obviously, as always, will share with you guys and let you in on my spending habits because that's what we do here on this channel. Anyway, before I jump into today's vlog, I firstly wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Jimondo, which is a app, website, platform that I have been loving. So as you guys know, I've been talking recently about a bit more on my fitness journey. I decided to really hone in on my health and fitness and just start being more conscious of what I'm eating without restricting and mainly the main thing was picking up exercise again. So I've been loving my going out and about and running. I obviously walk the dog every day. Barney comes with me on my runs. One of the, my favorite workouts that Jimando do is the fun run. So I plug in, listen along and um, have the most like motivational talk as I'm going on my run, a bit of interval training as well. So I'm really enjoying that program. It's only like 20 minutes. But yeah, if you've never heard of Jimondo before, it's a platform that you can sign up to to be able to have a real tailored fitness journey, fitness program. You can break down day to day what sort of workouts that you want to do and even diet as well. They've got like over 800 recipes and even like a customizable shopping list for your convenience. It really helps keep you stay motivated through the variety that they offer. They've got over 40 different programs across all different sectors, yoga, Pilates, running, like I said. They also have over 500 workouts so there's so much variety to choose from i tend to do my workouts in here through my laptop or using my phone as well sometimes like i say when i'm out and about or if i want to go in the garden or something to do a workout i will take my phone and use the app there so when you sign up to jimando you can just do like a monthly sign up which you will get the first seven days for free if you do choose the 12 month plan you can sign up via the link that i will leave in my description box and get a 50 percent off of that so there we have it i've completely cancelled any gym memberships i had so thank you to them for very kindly sponsoring today's video um now going to start Start, what am I going to do now? I think my first foot call, throw my hair up probably and start having a bit of clear out, a bit of an organize, just get going with it. I feel like sometimes with, with um, organization and clear outs, you're best off just getting started, getting stuck in and then potentially having that regret having started it, but also that sense of achievement once you've completed it. Nobody is losing. 
I'll just give you a quick before of what my wardrobes are currently looking like. So this is the wardrobe in my filming room, which kind of follows a system, I suppose. The majority of it is kind of um, fleeces, hoodies, blazers, and then on the bottom it's like sweatshirts, t-shirts, crop tees, vests, bodies, that kind of thing, and then just a couple of random like bags and accessories on the bottom and also on the top shelf which isn't really going to change because I feel like like there's winter hats in there but they hardly take up any space and then there's summer caps in there and my Chloe shoes and there's space behind there as well so that's not really going to change that much and I am going to keep out a lot of my stuff I don't tend to put loads away into storage I just put the real summer summer bits into storage and the really winter bits into storage just because I feel like for the majority of the year, especially in the UK, we do have mixed weather all year round. And sometimes, in even in the summer, it does get a little bit chilly in an evening that you might need like a hoodie or something. So, um, and blazers are very summer appropriate anyway, especially for like evening wear or I don't know, like I say, if it's not that stifling hot. Um, so yeah, not too much is gonna change, but just the main bulk of the winter stuff I'm gonna remove and summer stuff inject. And then let me show you my other wardrobe. So in our master bedroom, I have this wardrobe, which definitely does have some winter chunkier knit type items that I can put away. But then it also has some summer dresses that I've been buying since moving into this house, i.e. it's not been in storage. So yeah, I've already got a couple of summery bits and, um, but yeah, a lot of knitwear as well. But again, knitwear like vest knitwear, I don't necessarily need to remove because it's quite a spring, summer evening appropriate. And then down here I've got some like leather, leather trousers, joggers, majority of these are leggings and jeans. So we'll have a bit of a reshuffle around and see what we can come up with. But I definitely need to create some space for some summer stuff. And my plan definitely is in the future, hopefully near future, it just depends on availability at Ikea, is to pop some more Pax wardrobes into my filming room to have it as a full kind of walk-in dressing room filming room. And then it'll clear up this space here, which we will just remove this wardrobe because I don't think this space needs a wardrobe, maybe a chair or something instead because this, this Ikea Pax just sticks out like a sore thumb in this room with the like traditional paneling and everything. So yeah, we're gonna, Gonna get rid of this wardrobe eventually, but for now it's, it's keeping me with a bit of storage. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down so I've pretty much sorted through all of the summary bits that I've got. I've got some lovely things that I completely forgot I had. Um, these two in particular, and in fact there's three. Three Zara summer dresses that I think I must have bought like towards the end. But um, they're a little bit marked and they kind of all, these are the, this is my washing pile. This is the stuff that I want to keep but need to wash before putting away. There's a couple of other bits that I've got which are fine and that are just, um, they were like within a bag, within the bag and also that they are brand new as well. But yeah, this Zara dress, I completely forgot I got this last year. But yeah, this Zara dress, I actually wanted to get out before our holiday to Italy but just didn't get around to the, didn't get around to sorting out all my summer clothes and to be fair, we only went for a few days and I already had plenty of summer options for that holiday. But yeah, now this is making me want to book another one. There's already currently a wash on. We've got our bedding to wash as well. So lots more washing to catch up on. Oh, look at this. I always feel really bad when Barney's, <laughs> Barney's dog's been through the wash. He looks very sorry for himself and Barney tries to get him, but he needs to dry off. <laughs> So he just has to like hang out. I might actually, the sun has come out again, so I might even try and find somewhere in the garden to hang that just so it can dry in time for his bedtime because he likes to cuddle this, this Ikea dog at night. I feel like the Ikea dog, if you've got a big dog especially. Oh, Tom's just messaged. Oh, coming home early, that's good. Um, I feel like if you've got a dog that likes the Ikea dog, 
it's just so funny how they don't destroy them well at least Barney doesn't anyway he likes to cuddle him but um yeah he's all cuddled up without him now aren't you Barney we let you sleep Mwah. Hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Right, I've managed to free up quite a uh, bit of space. I know it doesn't necessarily look like it, but there is plenty of room now, and it's um, not going to look drastically different straight away because I actually will have to do a lot of wash loads, and it's going to take me more than just a day or two. So, yeah, I need to play catch up on washing now, um, but at least I've got some space to work with for when I've got my summer bits freshly washed and ironed and ready to pop back in the wardrobe so yeah that's what that's looking like and now that I've been at this for quite a while I feel like I need a bit of a fresh air break and yeah I feel like it's time to hit the shops close ourselves off to the buildies buildies <laughs> builders noises mind you i can still hear them i just hope that you guys it's not too distracting i swear today's weather is tipping it down now we've literally had all four seasons in a day today that's how crazy it's been why do we as brits feel the need to talk about the weather so much i feel like it's such a topic of conversation for British people, or is it a Manchester thing? It's got to be a British thing, hasn't it, anyway? Fueling myself this afternoon with a nice um, cup of coffee. This is my Neptune mug, I'm sure you guys are aware. Came across a brand called Showcase recently, which is a... I don't actually know how they talk, how they sort of advertise themselves as. Let me have a look. Like auctioneers, maybe? Showcase. It was the luxury sample sale. Okay, so they have online sample sales, of which I have put in an order because they had a Neptune one. And it's only for sort of limited time. So either on that day or that weekend or whatever it is, you book a time slot. When you're on the website, you can browse through and you put in an order to, to be delivered, which can take a while. But there was a Neptune one, which I did put in an order for. So as soon as that arrives, I'm gonna share it with you. I don't know if it'll be within this vlog because I don't know how soon it's gonna get here. But either way, I'm gonna share with you all the bits that we've got, that we've got, like you guys are shopping with me. Um, it does include some Christmas bits. So that's my disclaimer, I'm just saying it. Um, but the reason why I got onto talking about that from this Neptune mug is because I did want to just kind of highlight it and point it out to you guys if you've never heard of it before. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you those bits when they arrive. They did, they did have a sample sale in store, which I'm gutted that wasn't our local one. It was down in Wiltshire. So the sample sale I went online for was a lot of the like smaller items. The bigger furniture items and bigger homeware, home decor pieces were all in store which again, you have to book a time slot, you have to be there, you have to leave as soon as your time slot ends. So 
yeah that was in the wiltshire store um so didn't go to that never mind if anyone did let me know i'm very jealous because i think it's it's been and gone now but anyway i have been shopping um as you guys are aware i did pop into poundland and i also popped into wilco's and i did get some bits so I thought I would do a little haul. So Pamland, first and foremost. So I feel like, <sighs> let me lower you down. I feel like I need to sit down rather than sit on my knees. There we go, that's better. I did stock up on some treats of which I am being a bit more health conscious lately and I do tend to stick to my yummy treats at the weekend or just, you know, just not overindulge basically but anyway i picked up some treats for next weekend i couldn't resist these so you guys know i'm a big fan of the ritter sports chocolates i've tried this one before and loved it these two i haven't so i thought well i want to try the new new flavors i've not tried however i didn't want to leave this one behind because it's probably my favorite one i've ever tried it's the white mango passion fruit if you're a fan of white chocolate you're gonna love that and um, this one is just a good old alpine milk chocolate, plain and simple. Yeah, I've never had it. And then this one is new. It's the salted caramel. So I feel like that will be yummy too. Packing tape, sellotape, and a couple of packs of envelopes. I've picked up some disposable crockery cutlery, which I know is going to be a bit controversial. I feel like I'm going to make some people hate me for saying this, but... If you're following along on our renovation journey, I've kind of touched about, about um, touched on before that we are going to be moving temporarily. Well, it's likely that we're going to be moving temporarily downstairs into our basement once it's finished. Um, not the bedroom and everything, the top floors are fine. It's just that ground floor. Whilst they're doing the extension, we were going to stay for as long as possible in the kitchen living, the old kitchen living, until the new one was built. Now that I know that we have to, at some point, we're going to have to have the waste switched off in the kitchen, i.e. no washing machine, dishwasher, sink, no sink plug hole, we're pretty much going to be without a kitchen. So I figured we'll be able to just get, I'm going to have a plug-in freezer down there for Barney's food, so we'll get a little fridge as well. And then we can just get a, a mini hob, or we've got an air fryer, we've got a slow cooker, sous vide, We've got toaster, we've got microwave. I think we'll pretty much just live off that kind of food, live without an oven or without a hob for a bit. Um, we've got a kettle, obviously. So we'll manage, but I do think for ease and convenience in, in the interim, before we move down into the basement where we'll have a sink and I can do my washing up and everything, there will be maybe a couple of weeks where we'll have nothing. So bigger pots and pans i might have to wash in my bath and it's just going to be a bit manic so anyway i did get some disposable so it's just temporary that's all i'm going to say i'm just going to stop justifying myself and just tell you what i got um eco friendly bowls six of them and then these 20 pack of no washing, no washing up paper bowls and then the all white on the night white cutlery they had these in clear as well so they've got little teaspoons big spoons forks and knives and then also some coffee cups just to be honest with you i quite like getting these anyway for when we do go on a, like a nice long walk somewhere um, we tend to, if we're going on a long walk where I don't want to hold a reusable cup the whole way around, um, on the odd occasion we will just use one of these. Um, or I sometimes use them for the builders as well if I make them coffees. So that's that from Poundland. And then Matalan, not Matalan. Oh, maybe I should do a con shop with me to Matalan soon because I have been following on their socials and I've seen some people show some really nice summer clothes but also i always love the homeware section in matalan maybe i'll do a let me know would you be interested in seeing come shop with me to matalan and um, but anyway wilco's not matalan i popped in and i'll show you these two items first so we had a barbecue recently with tom's family in our garden and we do have some outdoor chairs from ikea i did bring out a couple of cushions that we have from in the lounge so i thought i'll get some outdoor seat cushions to pop on those chairs just to make them a little bit comfier the ikea ones to be fair are really comfy but if there's more than four of us because we've only got four of those chairs and we have like the metal chairs or the harder chairs then 
these are going to be far comfier so they're just little seat pads they were eight pounds each and i just think they're so nice i love the color of them they feel super comfortable and squishy so were they eight pounds or eight pound fifty eight pound fifty they were sorry um okay and then i also got some cleaning bits i got these bathmatics i've never seen these before they are the duex so they're double-sided one with a bit more of an abrasive side and then the other one with the uh what's it called chamois 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 it's a chamois isn't it the chamois side whereby it just helps get any kind of watermarks off so i thought i would just pop one of these each in the bathroom so that they're there for the bath to wipe it down or the shower or the toilet sink whatever and then i got this for up on the top floor as well because i've got a couple of these in my bathroom and um so i've got one for in tom's bathroom it's just one of these like kind of exfoliating sponge pad type thing that you can just pop in your shower i just think they look nice as well it's got a little loop that you can have them hung up as well for convenience i got myself and barney some dry shampoo you guys know i'm a big fan of the batiste dry shampoo anyway this is a new one that i've not used before it's the plant powered dry shampoo with 100 percent natural extracts with green tea and chamomile so i thought i would give it a go and yeah pets wilkinson's range now do their very own dry shampoo for dogs which i feel like will be good for just throwing in the car for convenience it just says easy to use convenience helps reduce odors cleans coat without water convenient quick way to remove odor and dirt great for holidays day trips or for in between baths so yeah i was thinking more for when we like to go on a nice morning walk on the weekend but then we want to stay out and go somewhere for brunch afterwards he's a swimmer he gets a bit muddy and a bit wet so to dry him off and then spritz some of this just so that he's not absolutely filthy going into a restaurant then we can do that speaking of bunny i also got him this cute little duck toy i also got some bleach we're out in my bathroom i like to have a bleach in every bathroom and i'm a big fan of the pine harpet pine however they didn't have any in and i saw this one citrus valley that i thought sounded quite nice anyway so i went for that i did also to add to my disposable range just some bits for uh, the barbecue or for home baking making it a lot easier just to get some more plates and foil trays to use and then these as well for outside when we do host and have barbecues they are disposable tablecloths really handy to have but if we're going a little bit extra and we've maybe got guests over and it's not just for me and Tom, then I also saw this one that they do, the linen look tablecloth. Now I do have a really nice linen one for H from H&M Home that I'm kind of saving. I don't really want to use it on the outdoor barbecue area where these kind of things might get burnt or might get ruined. So I'm keeping that one. I thought this one looked very nice and it is a more budget option at just £10. So yeah, it feels just like linen. I love the kind of texture and colour to that. So if we're having people over and want to go a little nicer, then we can do so. Then I also picked up one of these, pretty boring purchase and probably the most expensive thing I bought at £35. But it's my job, you see. So we've got to buy these things. It's just an SD card for my camera with extra storage. Um, and then I also got this Febreze Fabric Refresher. This is the pet friendly pet odour removing one, which I rarely come across. So when I saw it, I was like, well, I'll grab one. Usually it's just the anti-back one or just the box standard Febreze. So when I saw the pet one, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that. And then last but not least, I think these were £2.20 each or £2.25 each. They are outdoor, they're called Rustic Retreat Plastic Tumblers. They had wine glasses as well. How nice is this colour? A really deep kind of olive green. There's something about when you try and find um, like restored glassware or old kind of green glassware, it's got a real bluey tinge to it. This is a true olive foresty green which i'm obsessed with this color at the minute so i love it so these for outdoor i just thought they'd be good for whether or not just like soft drinks or cocktails to have tumblers like this wine glasses and things i'll probably just stick with i didn't want to get loads so i'll stick with the actual wine glasses or champagne flutes depending on what we're drinking but for soft drinks and for um more like cocktails or mixers i thought these would be lovely so they only had four i probably would have gone for a set of eight if they'd have had them but £2.25 each mega bargain so that's everything that I did pick up 
from Wilco's and Poundland, my little outing, which I thoroughly enjoyed, I'm not gonna lie. It's still raining though, so still very much going to continue inside the organizing, the cleaning today. Maybe even treat myself to a bath this evening. We will see. So guys, I feel like that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Hello June monthly introduction of video. I hope you guys have enjoyed me sorting through stuff, having a bit of a clear out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Sorry I don't have like a monthly favourites roundup in this one. I just feel like with everything that's been going on with um the trip tom's ankle the house renovations i've not really discovered loads of new finds this month that i thought i could include so i'll start compiling a list now for next month's monthly introduction video but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless thank you to jimondo for very kindly sponsoring today's video don't forget in order to save 50 percent off the 12 month plan you can click the link in my description box and sign up today it really is worth trying out especially if you um want to get that motivation to kickstart and get things going it's just different to any other apps because it's like an all-rounder it's got your nutritional value the um, meal ideas the variety of the different programs it's well worth trying out so i'll leave that link in the description box thanks to them thanks to you guys for watching and i hope to see you all again next time bye guys